Hello, hello, and welcome, my Sagittarius Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers. Welcome to your five card draw. What do you need? Shadow read for this beautiful new to full moon, July into August 2023. I am your reader, Mark Angelo Lyons, Mal for short, professional witch, professional intuitive. President of Joining the Circle Productions since 1998, 25 years in service and feeling really good about that. Author of Words of Grace from a professional witch, or a couple of versions of that available. The Kindle version is available. There's a link in the description box. Click it, you get to preview a good chunk of it for free. It's in chakra chapters predominantly. Different graces for each chakra. I love that book so very much. It is very clean and pristine compared to the original PDF version. The Fellini Visual Film Festival Feast, uh, Words of Grace from a Professional Witch, available on Patreon.com. Some of my subscribers have access to that as part of their benefit package, but all of my subscribers on Patreon have three benefits in common. A daily check-in, pretty much every day, I send them an unlisted YouTube live stream link so they can chat with me about the day's astrological weather, the magical applications, the spiritual implications, always a prayer, a blessing, a little something to send us on our way. Favorite way for me to start my day, considering what I do for a living every single day. Uh, they also get all the Extended readings, the part twos to the part ones here on YouTube. They're all relationship based, soulmates, twin flames, all that. Uh, they're all timeless and they're all juggernauts. They're all pretty long, uh, very detail oriented. I am a Virgo. Uh, they also get an extensive discount on private sessions with me, spiritual counseling, and readings. We'll talk about it at the end of the reading, the discount, and all of that. And at the moment, we have two seven day free trials available for Seeker and human the first two levels of subscription if you want to dip a toe see if you like what we're doing over there you have the opportunity I've been saying it all along you want to jump out day six you do you it's fine uh, but it's five the three dollars and five dollars uh, seeker and human you want to stay along and see what's happening because there's good stuff coming to patreon just read an email today of cool stuff I'm gonna do that they're letting us do I love it and I highly recommend patreon to anyone out there with a true creative uh passion uh, to check it out for yourselves as a creator and I love it. I can't say enough about it so we're going to move on but do remember there's a link in the description box. Click it. Check it out. Free trials. All sorts of cool stuff. Come Patreon on Patreon. So I'm the Archangel of Lions. Mark Angelo Lions. You can call me Mal. I like Sagis. Hi. <laughs> Sagicrabiasses. Hope you are well. Let's get down to business though. These are my favorite uh, series of readings, the five card draw, beautiful, beautiful reads. So let's get down to business. We'll do some explanation for the new Sagittarians and their cross watchers, and uh, then we will get down to the divination. If you want to jump ahead, feel free if you've heard it before, but we are going to talk about the two weeks of astrology in between this new moon uh, to the full moon, July into August. For starters, if you're new, these five cards represent the five magical elements. We'll start with fire, then we'll do earth, air, water, and spirit to help you clarify, refine uh, your heart's desire, a seed to plant at the new moon and help it grow to harvest at full. Uh, the element of fire, what you yearn for, what you burn for, what your heart's desire, which is part of what you came in to do in this life. That's why they write the desires on the hearts, part of our contracts. So no matter where you go, there they are. And uh, certainly, uh, as cross watchers, I've said this cross watchers have an opportunity here uh, to really get some insight, understanding, sympathy, and empathy for the Sagittarius they are cross watching for, but also the opportunity with a crystal oracle, an archangel oracle, a whisper of love, and a healing mantra at the end fire, earth, air, water, and spirit. Uh, to help their Sagittarians manifest their heart's desires, which is just going to help everybody on planet Earth, as each of us do this little by little. It makes it simpler, if not easier, <clears throat> for everyone else on the planet to do the same. So uh, that's why I do these readings, and I apply uh, my Sun, Moon, Rising, uh, and Venus signs, five card, and eight card, eight, eight card, Eight card shadow raid, one for the waxing, one for the waiting, uh, the waiting, and they're working. So you know, you do you. Proof is in the pudding. I'm a tasty, but I'm not a hasty pudding. I'm a Virgo. So um, I guess that's about it. Let's look at the astrology briefly because this is an interesting one. We've got a new moon in Cancer on a Monday. Now, new moon on Monday to start with. 
don't say a prayer for them now. Save it till the morning after. <laughs> Duran Duran, uh, Monday, July 17th. It's a Monday, moon day, Cancer ruled by the moon. Very aquatic, very emotional. 2.32 p.m., which means we're in dark moon, balsamic moon, until 2.32 p.m. Remember that number. Uh, I myself will certainly be uh, doing my five-card <laughs> draws from this reading. I already got a bunch of them. One more to go. I'm a Pisces moon. Uh, and, you know, plant the seed, help it grow two weeks later to the full moon in Aquarius. Tuesday, August 1st, 2.32 p.m. New moon, 2.32 p.m. Full moon, 2.32 p.m. Eastern time I am in New York. Never seen that before, ever. But then again, I haven't been doing this kind of work this way my entire life. So I'm sure it's happened. That is also, by the way, August 1st. Luchnasad, or Lamas, or Loaf Mass. One of the eight Sabbaths of the Pagan Wheel of the Year. And a high holy day for me. So uh, that's kind of cool. In between those two dates, though, of note... Uh, Venus is going retrograde July 22nd. That's personal planet. It's going to hit us all individually, depending on where uh, Venus is in your chart. And what it will be trans, uh, uh, transiting, here's good news. Sun goes into Leo, same day, uh, July 22nd, which will trine your Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, whatever. Chiron is going retrograde. The Wounded Healer. Check it out astrologically. It's an asteroid. If you have your natal chart, see where that is. It's going to be going backwards, and it's the Wounded Healer. I highly recommend the astrological information as well as the mythological information, because Chiron is a centaur, a kentaur, a hunter, an archer, a Sagittarius, essentially, if you want to go symbolically there. Um... That happens on the 23rd, the day after the sun goes into Leo. So this could be like healing past life stuff. This could be about childhood stuff. It could be anything, ancestral patterns, because the wounded healer archetype is very powerful in this. I'm just going to say across the board, as you heal your own wounds, as a healer in whatever way, shape, or form, you have more compassion for others and can help other people heal, right? Uh, uh, in a more visceral way than just like purely intellectual or whatever. Uh, so just keep an eye on that. I'm going to say uh, Mercury uh, it moves into Virgo, uh, mutable Earth to your mutable fire. So that's a square that happens on the 28th. And as I said, of course, we have the full moon. And Luchnasad, that's lovely, a full moon uh, with a solar Sabbath. That's pretty cool. So the general read, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Do check your other signs, as I do particularly because it gives me a little structure, a little guidance, a little grace for my own magical spell work, but whether you're doing intentional work, creativity work, law of attraction, who's he, what's this, uh, it is helpful. So, at least for me, so uh, uh, I guess that's about enough for the explanation. Let's get into the divination. We do that by getting into the still point, so both feet on the floor if you can. Focus on your breath, if you will. I will do my best to help anybody manifest their heart's desires to fulfill what they came in to do in this lifetime. It's never easy, but it can be simple. And that's what I'm here to do as a divinatory uh, a specialist, a mystical artist, spiritual teacher, blah, blah, blah. So let's go to that still point, shall we? Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. Ancestral override. I call upon the ancestors of magic, miracles, and mysticism for the Sagittarius Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers, who are watching this video and were drawn to this reading, please, beloved ones. Using the magical spell cards by Lucy Cavendish, what is the spell fragment, the clue, the tip, the hint for the element of fire? Uh, what the Sagittarian and the Cross Watchers uh, yearn for, what they burn for, what their hearts desire, or perhaps what is required to manifest that heart's desire, planting this seed to help it grow, this beautiful, nudiful, safe home. It's a circle cast. I've had this one a lot in my signs. I cast this circle round, round about. I cast this circle round about. My safety is now beyond doubt. <laughs> I took way too many speech classes. That's why I don't sound like I'm from Long Island all the time. Oh my god. Look, very, very powerful spell here. I have it actually programmed into one of these rings right here on my index finger. I use it a lot. 
So yeah, the great thing about if you are doing spell work, <laughs> you get to practice these for 14 days if you like. You get really good at it. Uh, lock it into a piece of jewelry. It goes with you wherever you go. So, okay, your safety here, a safe home. That can also be, by the way, is be feeling at home in your own skin. That's certainly uh, an application. So let's ground that and fuel that with the Crystal Oracle for the element of Earth, Tony Carmine Salerno. If you have the stone indicated, good opportunity for an amulet, a talisman, a magical carrier, what have you. Like I said, I put it into the same four pieces of jewelry now, which saves a lot of thinky-thinky. Just needs to be something physical, tangible. Element of Earth, clear quartz does everything. Uh, but really, it's the oracle message that's really important. So uh, let's ask uh, my archangel uh, how to help with all of this. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. Ariel override. As I call to my beloved Archangel Ariel, one of the Archangels of the North Powers of Earth, hence the Crystal Oracle, beloved Archangel of Lions, Archangel of Wealth, Archangel of Nature, please, what is your guidance, your grace, your wisdom, your power, your Oracle message to help the Sagittarians and the Crosswatchers manifest their heart's desire? which either is or does require a safe home because somebody can have a heart's desire for a safe home for sure. So the, the element of earth uh, to feel that fire to ground and manifest their heart's desire, this beautiful, nudiful, is tumbled stones, rainbow healing. So a handful of tumbled stones. Come on, you can get a whole bunch of tumbled stones. That's easy. This is a great card to have because I have so many tumbled stones uh, from my very long career in the New Age metaphysical pagan spiritual magical industry. Way longer than 25 years ago, folks. I started very young. Uh, Boston in the 80s. Dear, dear, dear. Oh, hey, I have a Sagittarian who has a history of Boston probably watching this. Hey, sweetheart. Uh, it's funny the things the gods pop into your head. Tumbled stone, rainbow healing uh, is your uh, key word here. Today marks the start of a new beginning. Pretty good for a new moon read. Uh, a new way of looking at life through the world uh, and the world around you, be it in dreams or through beautiful rainbows. Rainbows! You are being infused with light and blessings. Relax! Exclamation point. I love this about Tony Carrera. Relax! With it, it sounds very Italian. Uh, surrender your concerns to the universal light of love and allow this wonderful healing to occur. You will soon find that others are attracted to you. <laughs> Hot thing, barely 21. Uh, many will come and seek your help and advice, for you are a beacon of light unto all. In the near future, you will empower others with your love and wisdom as you help them see their own inner light and beauty. You are a natural-born healer who heals through the power of love. Oh, I believe in the power of love. I believe. You may call me naive. I still believe. <laughs> I'm getting this gear. Ooh, showing my age. Hey, I'm Generation X. I lived this long, all right? I'm allowed to have fun. And that's why I get away with so much with the pantheons of the divine. They're like, you've survived it and you still have a sense of humor. We will work with you. Lots of latitude and longitude in my gig because of that. And we can all have that if we so choose. So, if you choose element of air... Uh, of your own free will. You can call upon an archangel. As a result of this reading, everyone has access to archangelic consciousness because your higher self has been called a guardian angel, which belongs to a larger conglomerate called an archangel. The archangels then gang up together and form the thrones, the powers, the dominions, the principalities, the cherubim, the ser cherubim? The, the, the cherubim, the seraphim, I guess we merged some of those there. It's all one anyway, and really it happens the other way down. Mitosis, we're just looking at it that way. Uh, so, but they only come if you call. They're like that. There is a cosmic law of not intervention. They're not allowed to intervene unless we ask. And I know there are things that don't do that in other overtones and other dimensions. And, you know, anal probing is not my thing. I'm a top. Please take a nice deep breath. See what I mean? If I can make the archangels laugh really seriously, I'll be fine. Please take a nice deep breath. That's love for you. Unconditional for sure. 
still point. <laughs> Archangelic override. As I call to the beloved pantheons of archangels for the Sagittarius Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Crosswatchers watching this video, receiving this reading, who's the archangel waiting in the wings with their wings, ready to fly in with the element of air to stoke that fire and help manifest their heart's desire, which either is or does require safe home with that uh, tumbled stone, rainbow healing, because they're born healers, and uh, they, they, they might be time to embrace that. That might totally be what's required here. So it's their element of air to help them pull this off this beautiful, beautiful July into August. <gasps> Cassiel. Uh-oh. <laughs> Cassiel is definitely a love archangel. I know her. Why? Because she was in one of my four card, uh, five card draws. Yeah, one of my four. So I'm... No, that's Cassiel. I thought I opened right to the page. They're very similar. I bet they hang out a lot. I mean, I'm sure they follow each other on Insta. Uh, card number. Th where'd she go? There she is. Oh, Cassiel. Serenity. Oh, thought it was Cassiel. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Please don't sue me. I come from lawyers. Uh, the Angel of Serenity, Solitude and Temperance. Cassiel's name means God is my cover. And this gentle angel can help you find great strength in your solitude. Now, with safe home, that makes sense. Uh, when life gets on top of us and we feel overwhelmed, Cassiel reminds us of the importance of taking time out. She also helps us honor our boundaries and to say no when we need to. Cassiel's message is that it's okay to put yourself first so you don't become drained. That's selfless compassion. The, well, selfless compassion is given to everybody else, right? It's selfish compassion, but higher selfish compassion, finding that balance. It's a journey. I'm still learning that journey. I've been doing this a long time. I'm still learning that. Because uh, every day is a winding road. We get a little bit closer. Never forget the wisdom of the crow, Cheryl. Like the image of her as a graceful Indian woman in this card, as the angel of tears, Cassiel, uh, assures us there is no shame in showing our vulnerability by holding in our emotions. Uh, uh, what is it? I'm oh, sorry, I skipped a line. By holding in our emotions, uh, we can stifle ourselves. Another name for this angel is Speed of God because of her ability to help us heal faster. Crying can be so healing as it washes away sorrows and clears out old hurts. It's biochemical, man. Element of water. We'll get that in the next card. But absolutely, there are biological components to every emotion we have. You need glands to have emotions in a physical body. Otherwise, it's like energy. It's a long story is what that is. Cassiel also brings us to strength, a step back on our path after our period of solitude and serenity. She helps us get back on track with our purpose, even when we feel we don't want to or we aren't ready. Cassiel will give you the motivation to pick yourself up. That's lovely. And to do that in a safe home without anybody going to witness it, you know, it's like, well, I'm a Virgo. I prefer things. The message. Spend some much-needed time alone in quiet solitude and rest and recharge. Honor your emotions and be gentle with yourself. Now, look, that's sort of like you can do that without an archangel. But if you ask an archangel, particularly because your element of fire, the element of air, what you're thinking while you're doing that, because you can just sit there and do nothing and worry, right? I don't think that's the tea here. I think we are talking about maybe you doing some energy healing, some visualization of all them colors of the rainbow healing moving through your chakras like it's a party, right? Why not? House party, home party, right? Do this for yourself. The cover of God. I like that a lot. I do. I like that a lot. Cover me. No, I'm not. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, the element of water, the emotional stuff. And, you know, I will say, I'm a Pisces moon. I don't cry at anything. I mean, Hallmark commercial, right? There, There's this video of a pr about a pregnant elephant and a pregnant dog. is a story. It's not like a live video or anything like that about puppies and baby elephants and stuff. Reduced me to tears. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But those are. It's biochemical release when you allow yourself to cry. I sometimes sit in the tub, turn on the water. You know, I live loud. Cats can't get in. Close the door, right? Just let the boogers fly as the water pours down. You know, we all find our art forms. <laughs> Shall we? The element of water, the whispers of love, oracle, oracle, uh, 
Angela Hartfield also does Whispers of Lord Ganesh. We use uh, those wonderful cards to remove obstacles and the shadow rains. So let's see what the higher selves of all involved have to say, because maybe someone else is involved in this. Although this could very much be a solo gig with Cassiel there. Please take a nice deep breath. Still point. Higher selves override. Wow. As I call upon the higher selves of all involved. Fifth dimension and above, eighth chakra and above. What is the whisper of love? The piece of information, inspiration, insight, intuition, understanding, uh, the clue, the tip, the hint. What is your guidance, your grace, your love, your wisdom, your power for the Sagittarius Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs, and Cross Watchers who are watching this video, receiving this reading for the element of water, the love that is divine power, and the energy and motion we experience as emotion as immortal souls and, and on heroes' journeys in human bodies to manifest their heart's desire that either is or does require a safe home with rainbow healing. And uh, serenity now, oh, this beautiful, beautiful July into August. Look at your patterns in relationships. This is like the fourth or fifth time this has come up in this series. You see how long people are like, you take too long, you shuffle. I'm like, this is why. And I'm a Virgo. They don't stop until they click. And so look, I guess a lot of people, this wax it well with Chiron going retrograde. What are the chances? What could go right? <laughs> Plenty could go right. It requires inner strength to recognize uh, that you need to change or modify your behavior because uh, these patterns, they're not a punishment. I know they feel that way. They're not. No, they are not. It's what Gary Zukov in the book Seat of the Soul calls the compassionate return of the universe. It's the universe saying you can delay this, but you can't prevent it. So, okay, you didn't cross every T, dot every I. We love you here. Let's wait a year and we'll send this one back around to you in a different shape or form, unless it's not a different shape or form. And that's when we tend to get really rough on ourselves. So this is something, it feels like, yes, look at your pattern in relationships, but only you can do that. Right? This might be a solo gig. I cast a circle round about. My safety is now beyond doubt to cry, to heal, right? To look at my patterns in relationships. And if you invite somebody else into that, that's your gig, right? Good friend, confidant, therapist, healer, counselor, whatever. But of course, in prayer to the Archangel of Serenity is probably a good idea. One would think. But you do you. We're moving on to our last card down. The card of spirit, the Mac Con healing mantra deck. I've had this deck's deck. Let me make sure I enunciate, shall we? <laughs> I have had this deck of mantra cards since it came out in 2018. Bought it from his website, MacCon. I know these mantras, and I know they work. If you work these mantras, I highly recommend them. So uh, let's ask our last pantheon. Uh, the Ascended Masters of the General Assembly for this card of spirit. So you use the mantra with the stone and the spell with Archangel Cassiel with the intention to look at your patterns and relationships, but to do it emotionally, like particularly how you feel about them, I would think would be key. Ready? Last card down. Last reading of the day. They always say, light it out, last reading of the day, and then I dissolve on the couch with my cats. Please take a nice deep breath. Hey, it's nice work if you can get it. And I love what I do. Still point. Oh, Ascended Master's Override. As I call upon the Ascended Masters of the General Assembly. For the Sagittarius Collective Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Suns, and Cross Watchers who are watching this video drawn to this reading, what is the perfect healing mantra, the card of spirit, to help them unify all of this, uh, to help them manifest their element of fire, what they yearn for, what they burn for, what their hearts desire, with this safe home, rainbow healing, Cassiel's gift of serenity. If they ask, they have their free will not to, as they look at their pattern in relationships. 
this beautiful new to full honoring adversity. So fire card. A fire reveals a path of new direction once the burning is complete. You might as well chill. <laughs> it seems a little contraindicative or not. Maybe that maybe that is even decent metaphor for a change. I forgot what I meant for. Honoring adversity. I have had this mantra show up so many times. It was just it it, it, it was in my shadow reads. No, it was in my five card draws for Leo last time, if I remember correctly. A fire reveals a path of new direction once the burning is complete. It's the element of transformation. It is also our element, I'm Leo Rising, uh, our element of fire, mutable fire, like a wildfire. Wildfires and forest fires, I hate looking at them. I'm sorry they happen, but they have to happen. Some pine cones cannot release their seeds unless they're on fire. You know, everybody's got to find their way through, I guess, right? So, uh, certainly, adversity, gee, over the past, well, I could say two years, five years, hundred years. I mean, adversity has always been on this planet, but it is often the alchemical ingredient uh, that transforms us, right? The, the to transformation by fire. You can't unburn a cookie. Right? You just can't, right? You can get something wet, maybe you can dry it off. You can get something will fall on the floor, you know, five second roll. But if it's burnt, it's burnt. There's no going back. That's the difference between a change and a transformation. So, if you are suffering adversity, and I don't know anybody who hasn't or isn't, really, also look what I do for a living, the people that are drawn into my energy field for me to help as a witch and all of that, certainly to be offering serenity to them to understand that this will change. This is for a purpose, but if you search for reason, you'll drive yourself mad. Reason is a human creation. Purpose is a divine creation work. So, let me read this to you. Because you have to honor, right? I get the part with the tears now. It's like, you have to honor how you feel about it. I've been saying it. Carolyn May said it, and it's a bad paraphrase for me. I apologize, Caroline May, May M-Y-S-S-P-H-D, and one of my favorite spiritual teachers that I've ever been. She says, liars can't, don't heal. Liars don't heal. Now, th oh, I, my guides added to that. Well, then, and liars don't heal. Healers don't lie. Because you have to be truthful. It has to start within yourself. And to take the cover of God. The serenity. The time to look at your patterns and relationships. And confront it within yourself in a safe space. No one else has to know about this unless you want to share it. That is throat chakra. And chances are, Sagittarians usually will, sooner or later, right? The truth flies out of them like lightning. A fire reveals a path of new direction once the burning is complete. When adversity is honored, life is appreciated as oscillating cycles of deterioration and renewal. Deterior deterioration is the natural process of new things becoming old, while renewal is the process of old things becoming new. As you learn to honor these two interconnected process processes, just as naturally as the changing of the seasons, you are able to embrace adversity. It's not a punishment, but a gift of renewal birthed out of the ashes of erosion. This mantra is ideal for processing unforeseen changes, safe home. That could be a good heart's desire required there. Uh, overcoming superstitious beliefs. Well, because I did it on a Tuesday and I wore a green sweater and my asshole exploded. No. Sorry. Channeled, I think I channeled caught you there for a second. What was going on? Uh, 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 and uh, surrendering the ego, because the ego is always going to default to fear and survival. That's its gig. That's why we can eat chocolate and have sex and drive cars and have cell phones, right? The ego is the most uh, dormant part of the spiritual spectrum, and it gets to release and grow and evolve. That's what the shadow reads are for. But certainly taking care of self here, right? Because the ego will look at self-care as I'm going to get everything I want, and right? Do toxic shit. It just does. Until it learns. It's like, a, it's like an angry little kid sometimes when it gets all inflamed. But instead to really kind of look at that, step back. Well, your relationships, not just with people, but with things, right? Money, sex, drugs, power, you know, the seven deadly sins, the holy virtues, and all of that. Very, very powerful, very spiritual read for sure. Um, because you are going through a process of transformation. And maybe this is talking more about the renewal than 
extend the erosion here. Um, but also, I gotta say, with that serenity, taking time for yourself, that rainbow healing, it could be that's what you're waxing, is the infrastructure to handle this. And honoring that if the fire is still blazing, the path of direction has not been revealed yet, and you haven't done anything wrong. How's that? How's that? Let's put this together in a blessimation, a combination of the word blessing and summation. Word we came up on Patreon. I mean, it was like our first month. It's a it's a blessimation, and I ran with it. And after that, it's the end of the reading. Though I probably refer to, I usually refer to the cards again after that. But we're going to talk about readings and spiritual counseling, uh, Patreon, and all that. And you get to hear Janet Grace's new music for this channel again for the five card draws. I love her. Please take a nice deep breath. And I love you. Still point. Hmm. Pantheonic override. <laughs> As I call upon the collective pantheons of the divine for our beloved Sagittarius collective sun, moon, rising, Venus signs, and cross watchers watching this video and led or drawn found themselves watching this reading. May they be blessed with all that they need to manifest their heart's desire by water, by earth, by air, by fire, in the spirit of honoring adversity, because the fire reveals a path of new direction once the burning is complete, and I'm living testament of that. And uh, so that they can, uh, with the element of water there, look at their patterns and relationships, because it does require inner strength to recognize that we all need to change or modify our behavior here, there, and everywhere, and to call upon the help of Archangel Cassiel for that strength and that serenity for self-care, to be given the guidance of grace, particularly through the element of air. Try this, read this, do that, do that, all for them to recharge and replenish so that they can keep going on their journey. And certainly with rainbow healing, tumbled stones indicated to ground that, you know, carry them in your pocket, your purse, your bra, your whatever, as you go, just as a reminder, and those colors swirling through them like the magnificent Jupiterian artists that they are, and all of that certainly uh, would seem to be part of a heart's desire and certainly a part of what is required to manifest their heart's desire. So may they be blessed that we cast this circle round about their safety is now beyond doubt for the well-being of all and with harm to none for a safe home for them. So let it be done. So would it be. So it is. It's lovely. Grounded. A lot of earth energy in here. I like it a lot for you. But, you know, fire. Fire, fire, fire. Did you like the reading? I know. A little, a little bit on, on, on the problematic side, perhaps, right? Uh, depending on what the adversity is that you are going through, location, 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 believe me, I understand. So, uh, certainly, let's let's talk about those readings and the spiritual counseling first, shall we? Uh, 25 years in business, I finally changed my prices. I made a video, Booking Private Sessions with Mal. Explains everything, it's about 11 minutes, you can also find all of it written down on my website, Drawing the Circle Productions in the store. There's a little thing that says store, click that, opens up, poof, to a store. You'll see uh, reading packages, spiritual counseling, and lots of digital products if you would like to purchase or just check out. They're there. So there it is, black and white, but the video does it in about 11 minutes. I've never turned anybody away because of lack of funds and finances. I say it over and over in the video because I am here to help. And I'm trying to manifest my heart's desires by, uh, by fire, by earth, by air, by water, and the spirit of unity to help us all do what we came here to do and make a better world for all of us. And plus, it just seems like it would be more fun, don't you think? Let's hope. Uh, so, absolutely, uh, if you want, go check out Patreon, right? Watch the video for that one, too. The intro video for May 2023, 25th 20, yeah, anniversary of the company. Uh, all of my subscribers, regardless of subscription level, get the daily check-ins, the extended readings, the extensive discount on private sessions with me. I love it. Best thing I've ever done for my career. I have such creative freedom. And they keep giving us cool 
stuff to do, like the seven-day free trials. That's relatively new. Seeker and Human, check us out for six days. Jump out on the seventh day or stay. And then you get the discount. Same amount as the, the gods, goddesses, too. Everybody gets that same percentage discount on that. Uh, and uh, I, I love it. I highly recommend it to any uh, types uh, of a creative nature at all to become a creator on Patreon. The next thing that they're doing is so excited, but I don't even want to say it because I'm on a wait list. <laughs> so I can't access it to, because I'm on the wait list, whatever. So uh, do check it out. Come Patreon on Patreon. I really think you'll dig it. And again, free trials. What do you got to lose? And I love you. I do. I have so many good Sagittarius peoples in my life. They're fun, man. Even though I'm a Pisces moon, go figure, right? I love them. I get along with them. Amazing lovers. Really good friends. And you know, they come and go. They're freedom. They're, they're very freedom based and Jupiterian and fun and jovial. Jupiter, Jove, Zeus, I'm into it. So uh, wishing you all seriously the very, very best and the very, very blessed of this beautiful, beautiful. Um, because if you can tap into that inspiration and really give yourself the self-care, the serenity that comes, and of course... God, God, a Zeus, Buddha, Jesus, Zan, Jaina, Fred, William, Fred, Wilma, Grammy, the Serenity, except the crazy shit I can't change in this world, but the courage to change the things I can on the inside, and the wisdom to know the difference, right? So you do you. I love you. Hang in there. You can do this. Heal. Hail. Farewell. And blessed, blessed be.